All right, welcome everybody. As you know, the uh, the word is out. Big, huge news in the gaming world. Fallout 4 is officially confirmed. We could finally stop saying that as a joke on uh, live streams. Fallout 4 confirmed. Fallout 4 confirmed. Halo, uh, Half-Life 3 confirmed. We still could say that for now. But Halo 4 is officially not a joke anymore. It is for real. Finally, thank you. The Bethesda gods have come down and gave us... Fallout 4, so now I'm super duper pumped uh, for E3 because we're going to be seeing a lot more gameplay, so my excitement for E3 just went up like 20 times as everybody on stream is telling me that the reveal trailer is exactly what it is, a reveal trailer, uh, just gives you a sneak peek uh, and just basically letting you know that the game is real. We're going to see the real game and uh, a lot more information and details at E3. Um, especially at the Bethesda press conference. Todd Howard is returning. Super pumped about that. Uh, and we're going to actually do this. I'm going to do this for you guys. It was a request from Twitter and um, my YouTube channel. So we're going to be doing a reactions video. I'm going to play the video and uh, give you my initial thoughts. So let's go. Watch this trailer together. Set the world on fire. <laughs> the ink spots, remember them? Wow, looks great. Hey, German Shepherd. That's Riley from Call of Duty, isn't it? <laughs> wow. I like the graphics, look at that. What do you expect? New systems. Wow. Great detail. Especially for a reveal trailer. Hmm. Oh. Oh boy. War. War never changes. <laughs> I wonder if you have to take the goat test again. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Looks like they use a slightly different color palette for this game too. A little bit of different colors mixed in. Hmm. Wow. Looks good. I love sandbox games like this. It's gonna be great on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with the power of those systems. Exactly what we needed for the new systems. Exactly. You know, and I hope this game, I hope they take their time and take a while for this game to come out. I really do because I want them to fix the glitches, want them to really, really work hard on it, and uh, not have the bugs that we had in the previous ones, especially New Vegas. Wow. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Let's go, pal. Now, there it is. There it is. And that trailer was from IGN. <clears throat> All right. Pretty cool. Wow. Well, the hype is real now. It's official. Um. <clears throat> I can't wait. I I'm really pumped now. I want to see actual gameplay. I want to see, um, you know, what they've come up with. I want to actually see how far along it is, you know, because we don't know how long actually they've been working on it. It's just revealed, but, you know, obviously they've been working on it for a while to even come up with a trailer like that. So uh, I want to see, you know, what's 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 new, uh, what's returning, new weapons, uh, new locations. I guess they're saying, um, on the according to the internet, it's uh, Boston. Uh, <clears throat> it's gonna be awesome. I'm I'm really looking forward to it, and uh, I'm I'm hyped to see what they show at their stage demo, and 
like I said, take the time. You know, your game can only come out once. Make it really good. Um, learn from, from what was wrong with Fallout 3 and New Vegas. I'm not talking about the game. I'm talking about technically, like with glitches and, and, and bugs and stuff. Because I don't care what kind of game you have or how good of a developer you are. When you have a giant open sandbox game like Fallout or Elder Scrolls, Skyrim, you're going to have these problems. Work, you know, try to work as on them as much as you can. Uh, because there was a, I did witness in during my gameplay of the Fallout series from the first one to the last one, including New Vegas. Uh, you know, game breaking bugs, but we'll see. Um, but I'm sure that's going to be addressed. And uh, yeah, it, it's going to be sick. I'm going to be first day buyer. I'm going to have a countdown. I I hope it's you know. I think it's going to be really, really good. I, I This could be the next best game ever. I really do. I, I think that Bethesda is the kind of company that they take their time and they make a product that when it comes out, it's going to be really good. I think that's what they're doing with Fallout 4. I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, of course, you know, you're going to have these ex DLCs, but if you know from the past, the Bethesda DLCs are actually really good. They were really good for Skyrim. They were really good for Oblivion. They were really good for Fallout 3. So they really add to the world. And uh, it's worth it, you know, to give them a couple extra dollars for some good content instead of just, you know, silliness that a lot of these game developers do or nickel and dime me. Bethesda is really good at that. So, super pumped for Fallout 4. Glad it was announced. Looking forward to covering E3 with you guys. I hope you check in all week at E3 on this channel. We are going to be going into detail and uh, going through each press conference as they end, each stage demo, and talking about the different games that are going to be announced. Thanks, everybody, and I will see you on the next Murray NJ08 video. Take care.